Seventy years after he disappeared, a Racine veteran's remains are now identified. Corporal Donald Bear will return home on an honor flight, fittingly, just in time for Veterans Day. Kareen Zell talked to his family tonight. Kareen. George and Carol, family members I talked with thought this would never happen in their lifetime, but they never gave up. A decades-long search for one family comes to an end. We are just thrilled with the news. At 18, Corporal Donald Bear enlisted in the Army in Racine. He disappeared in South Korea in 1950 and was declared dead three years later. Bear was one of 13 kids. His sister was five when she was told her brother died. I do remember the feeling from the family of missing him, not knowing what happened, and the trauma that they went through with just being, you know, so much being unknown. Janet Burrill started actively trying to find her brother's remains 17 years ago, submitting DNA to the military. I felt the responsibility to our family. The military identified Bear 67 years after he went missing by comparing a chest x-ray taken in 1948 to the clavicle bones in his remains. I became very emotional, that's for sure. This has been a long search. Family will greet their loved one on an honor flight later this week. It's going to be really emotional it's going to, and it's going to be really cool. Donna Knauts is excited to see her son, who's in the Air Force, fly with Bear from Hawaii, where he was buried in the punch bowl, to Milwaukee. He's finally going to get to come home. This family hopes more will follow. And bring them all home within the lifetime that they still have family members living. Bear was one of more than 800 unidentified American soldiers after the Korean War called the X-Files. George and Carol? Good to see he's coming home. Thank you very much, Corrine.